What's up guys, welcome to Real Beast. Today I want to be showing you guys how to get the 1 8th and 1 16th groove in FL on your drums. If you guys haven't subbed already or turned post on your zone, make sure you do so, because it does help it a lot. Let's hop right into it. So first things first, I'm just grabbing the scale and my BPM is at halftime, which is 84. It could be 85, it doesn't matter. Um, this works in all BPMs. Um, this is just the one I chose. Um, so I'm gonna choose, let's do a D minor. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we just need a drum pattern. So I'm gonna make a drum pattern real quick with this. And then I'm gonna show you how to get that groove on your drums. All right, so now we need some drums. So I'm just throw down some drums real quick. Um, and we are in a different pattern just to make it easier to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so here's the drum pattern. I'll play it once. All right, so I already got a little bit of bounce because we're in halftime. Um, so what I'm gonna do is clone this because the, the method I'm gonna show you to get the grooves, it will overlap one another. So it's not gonna overwrite. Um, so we need to go here and clone it so we can save this original. So let's go back here. And what we need to do is go right click, piano roll. And then the only thing you need to do is really press Alt Q and it'll bring up this, okay? Now, some people like to control A and then Alt Q but I don't think that really matters much, um, but this will pop up. And then what you need to do here is click this arrow and FL has a lot of settings like this, but they're kind of in a cut. So you can't really, you know, you can't really tell where they are or, you know, they in your face, but you never think to use them. So click this arrow and all these grooves will pop up everything that you could possibly want. Um, you could try a bunch. I'm going to choose like, I'm going to choose something like this because it's very exaggerated. Um, so let's press accept. Now, like I said earlier, these overlap. So if you wanted to change it, um, you have to create, revert back to your original because if we press again, you'll see, if you saw there, see, you see how it keeps editing it, right? Um, so gotta be careful. So I'm gonna do it for all of these real quick. All right, so now we have this drum pattern. I'll play it. You can see it's very different now, all right? Um, so there's that and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Okay, and then now we have our original pattern. So the one I'm gonna use, and this is the only one I really use because I haven't really tried too many of these that I like. Um, I just used one of these four. So I'm just use the hip hop one and I'm just go through and do it now. Okay, so done now. So if anybody from FL is watching this, I please put this feature somewhere here. Okay, I don't know, apply all. You know, you could pick it, it could pop up and see, it could pop up like, like just this here and you can maybe apply it somewhere right here because this is annoying to do. All right, so I'm gonna play this real quick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and I guess we can kind of make a melody and add our bass and stuff. All right, so now we need a melody. So I'm just go ahead and use this piano for my first, well, basically for my main melody or chords. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and make some chords and um, I guess we can start on our roots. We could probably go up here. There we go. Let's pull that down, drop this down. All right, so we can use this bass line kind of go down like this. So I think that'll be a nice little harmony right there. Um, and then we'll have to build off of these somehow. So from here, what I'm gonna do is just do something like this. Probably should put this over here. Oh, I like that, okay. So now we need like a passing little chord here. So I'm gonna just kind of this is easy because we just need to get from here to here. Um, so we can just fill in notes in between like this. All 
right, and I'm gonna just copy that over. So that is the piano. And I would quantize it, but I mean, not quantize it, but I would make it more realistic, but I think this is fine. All right, so let's move on to our vocals. All right, so obviously for the vocals, I'm gonna be using Arcade, and this is the one I chose. Um, this one just sounded something smooth, so I'm gonna change the key to, what are we in, D minor? Yeah, okay. Let's change this real quick to the D minor. And then I'm going to just go with whatever I think sounds good on the first, like whatever I hear first, because I'm not going to take too much time doing this. So uh, what grid am I in? Like I said, I'm gonna just go with whatever I think sounds good. Whatever, all right, we could use this. I think I'm gonna go with this one at the end. All right, let's play it, see if this sounds good. Okay, I like that, that, that sounds good, okay. So, vocal done, and now we can just do the bass. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bass and here's Trillion, this is the preset I'm using. Okay, so we can throw down our little bass and I don't know, is that right? I think that's right. Um, so I wanna create look a little, like a little groove here. So something like that is a great little pattern for like the bass line groove. Okay, now for this, you can use this trick, this Alt-Q. Um, but you gotta be careful because it's gonna alter all these parameters, even the pitch. So if you want it to bend a bit, or if you want anything with any of these parameters to change, you can accept it or you can turn them off if you want. Um, I usually just like to do this manually um, because I like full control over how it's played. So let me go back here. Um, but a good rule of thumb, you can go to snap to grid, you can go to half step, and then somewhere between here, let me zoom in, between this little square, will be like a good placement for your bass to, to add some groove. Okay, and then we can go ahead and just pretty much just copy this down somewhere here. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna copy this over. And now we have our baseline. So now let's go into the processing. Um, and we can listen to the whole thing all together. All right, so I didn't really mix or anything. I just did the vocal and the piano because those are like the most important parts. Um, and I have drum mixing tutorials and all stuff like that. But for the vocal, you know, I just take out the bass of all my instruments, usually not too much, but for this one, I felt like we could take all the bass out for the piano and everything, panned them. And the piano left, the vocal right, turn the vocal down because it was too loud. Right. Um, so for the piano, I just use this little preset I made. Um, I don't I don't I was just trying this one day and it just sounded cool to me. And I got Valhalla Super Massive. I think this is default preset. I'll play it solo. Just gives it a weird vibe and I like that. So for the vocal, I guess we can leave that on. Valhalla Shimmer, I use this a lot on vocals because it kind of puts it in the background. I mean, you can copy these settings if you want. I just fine tuned it to how I like it and then I just put this shaper box on um, just to give it, I'm not gonna say character, but just some movement, I guess. So I'll play it.
all right so i'm gonna just play the whole thing and then i'll probably have a little a slightly more mixed version at the end so All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. Again, remember Alt-Q for the uh, drum groove preset or setting. And that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.